AZ and Card, and today I have a different opening for you guys. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Walgreens previously had a sale which was uh, on all trading card games, buy one get one free. So this included Magic the Gathering and Pokemon products that they primarily carry instead of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I figured since it was a sale and it was a pretty good deal at that, I'd go ahead and pick up some stuff. Unfortunately at that time they didn't have Magic the Gathering packs in, so I had to get a rain check on that and it took about two weeks for them to even restock at my local Walgreens. So yeah, it took quite a while to get these, but they're finally here and I have to open up for you guys six Magic the Gathering Cons of Tarkir booster packs. Just thought they'd be a pretty cool and fun opening. Uh, please excuse if I don't know if any cards are really that good or anything as I kind of want to start Magic, but I'm not too sure at the moment about what every card or how what's good. So yeah, so we have two of each of these artworks to open up for you guys. So let's go ahead and get these packs open. And yeah, this is... Uh, Cons of Tarkir is honestly the first pack of magic I've ever gotten, so... Let's go ahead and kind of get out all the packs from the blisters. So yeah, these were all buy one, get one free, so I bought three, got three free. Couldn't pass up a deal like that, so yeah. So hopefully these packs might have something good in them. And from what I heard in Magic, if you get a foil, it doesn't really matter as foils are random of any card in the set, so it's only if you get a certain playable cards that they're worth something, so yeah. Other than that, I honestly know barely anything about Magic, other than the fact that if you get something called a Mythic, it's pretty good, so yeah. Let's kind of cut these. And we got two of each of three of the four artworks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go with this guy. Kind of want to preserve the packs too, so I'll be a little bit more slower and careful in this opening as I usually am in mine. So yeah. Alright, so if they're free and loose. First pack. Uh, from what I heard, commons aren't too great, so we'll just kind of go through them. These guys, hopefully, you can see those pretty well. Uh, I think we're on to uncommons now for starting here. So we have Misfit Weaver, Absbon Charm, Nomad Outpost, and our rare is a Sea Drino. I believe that should be the rare. Got some morph. Not too sure what that is, probably a token. Alright, next pack. Sorry that I struggle with opening packs, but it's all part of the whole experience, so yeah. Alright, so if only this pack. Alright, open this one pretty well. Kind of wiggle the cards out. They're really stuffed in there considering there's 15 cards per pack, so yeah. Oh, here's the rest of them. Wait, is that. There's more. Yeah, that's the last one. So it looks like this was a common Mardu Horde Chief. So bad with openings. Shatter that. 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 Again, I know nothing about magic, so yeah, sorry about that. So, Uncommons, Goblin Slide, Abs Band Charm, uh, Tamur Charger, and a Rare Land, uh, Windswept Heath. I'm not sure if this is one of the good ones. It might be, so yeah, we got that, and a Goblin Token. So, I guess I'll go ahead and move our rares up to the front. Just set them off to the side. Go ahead and do that for this one as well. So yeah, I've heard shock lands are worth quite a bit of money in Magic, but fortunately I don't know how to identify shock land myself. So yeah. Next pack, and we have this guy. Whatever he is, looks pretty cool. All right, 
So we have for commons, these, uh, where uncommons are Jeskai Charm, Absban Falconer, Heir of the Wilds, and looks like we got a foil after this. So we have a rare is a uh, High Sentinels of Arashin, and a foil Murderous Cut, which is an uncommon. So I'm not sure if that's really any good, but hey, we got foil, so that's pretty cool. Good. If you guys know anything about, uh, or if you guys are magic players yourself or know anything about certain cards or if I get anything good, please leave it in the comments down below as it will really help me in discerning and learning about the whole game. Because from what I've seen, magic is looks like to be a pretty competitive and fun game, especially since you can win real money in tournaments. So yeah. And the artwork is phenomenal for it as well, as with most card games. So, that guy... Mardu stuff. Savage Punch. That looks awesome right there. Land. Uh, getting to Uncommon. Stubborn Denial. Ruthless Ripper. She looks awesome. Uh, Dead Drop. Our rare is Butcher of the Horde. It's a demon creature. Not sure if it's any good, but yeah, we got that. On to our last two packs. Uh, I feel like magic packs are pretty easy to open as they rip real easily, so it's kind of hard to preserve the packs, but you guys have lately been doing the same thing. And go ahead and leave the comments down below if you guys would like to see more random pack openings such as this for different card games of the sort, so yeah. And if I can find cards on sale, I'll obviously pick them up just to open for you guys, so yeah. So, Uncommons, Brave the Sands, a Pine Walker. A Monastery Swift Spear. Uh, we have a Sagu Mahler, I believe, as our rare. That's it. And I'm pretty sure, from what I heard, you're supposed to be able to discern if you get anything useful from the symbol there, but you really can't tell the difference in them. Alright, next pack. Feels like with every artwork, yeah, I'll say it after I open this one. Pretty long opening. So yeah, it feels like with every pack I've gotten, or at least for each artwork I've had, I've had two of them, and one of them always seems to rip a bit, and the other of the same art seems to last and comes out pretty awesome. So yeah. So we have Smite the Monstrous. Don't know why I named off a comment. All right. So we have. Where is it? Oh, it looks like we got a foil again, so that's awesome. So we have a Kintry Invocation, that's uncommon. Seek the Horizon, uncommon. A Ride Down. Uh, we have a wood, Wooded Foothills, which is a land. And a Foil Island, so that's kind of random as a foil. But eh, it's a foil. So if anyone wants to use foil lands, I guess that would be pretty cool to put in the deck. So yeah, that does it for our opening. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below if, if uh, any of my guys are like really good or anything. So yeah, so sorry for my lack of knowledge on magic, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the opening anyways. Um, please stay tuned for more openings, but primarily Yu-Gi-Oh and card fight if you guys are interested in that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and Azing Card out.